What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict and the Sunny. Excuse the mess. Coming for, to you live from the CP the Tool Addict uh, shop area. And we've got a video today pertaining to scan tools. Now, I'm not going to talk about all the scan tools I have, which I do have, you know, several still. Uh, Sunny, personally, she likes the uh, Altel too. Uh, does like. But this isn't about them. Uh, it's about our stick chewing friend here, Sonny. But let's get into the video before we get too haywire on things. Stick around. Let's talk about launch today. Launch scan tools. We're going to talk about those today. So, and well, Sonny does not like zip ties, apparently. So, let's get into the video and talk about some new launch scan tools. Alright, for reference, Launch is one of my favorite scan tools, and we're going to talk briefly. They have a new scan tool out, but we're just going to talk briefly about some of the ones that I use. The Pro 3S Plus, and one of my personal favorites is this bad dad right here. I have uh, been in love with this one for a while, and I also, the, one we're gonna, the new one we're going to talk about today is also one of my favorites. But this is the uh, Launch... X431 Pro Elite. That's what this one is. X431 Pro Elite. So, yes, that is one of my favorite. All right. So, now that we've kind of just briefly discussed why I have what my favorite scan tool sort of is, I, I go between the launch and the Altel quite a bit. Also, have the uh, Top Don, which works similar good. I've got an X Tool D8. Not, it does some things that the others don't. So, at the end of the day, I want everybody to realize that this is not a game of who is the best scan tool, but the, the functions and things that you need to do, okay? We're not, there is no best scan tool out there, okay? Every company really, honestly, this is a, at this point, in the juncture of a scan tool stuff, and I will tell you that scan tools are my favorite tool because they're the ones that literally help me do things that I need to get done, in order to get a car repaired, this is the first line of defense. Scan tools of different varieties have different different specifications and different things that they can do for applications. There's different PIDs that you can pick up that you can't pick up with another one. And unless you had factory scan tools, which would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for every make and model, this is the only way to combat that. And that's why a lot of technicians and shops have multiple different scan tools. For your needs, if you're here looking for a scan tool for your needs, this is a good scan tool and a good price point to start off with because it's like under $200, I believe. I can't remember. I don't know, actually. I'll have to leave a link in the description uh, or I'll put it in the title. One of the two. But this is the new launch, Creter, uh, one, two, three. And let's just uh, get into this because I know a lot of you are digging, wanting to get into it. This thing has a 5-inch LCD screen, CRP129, excuse me, did I say 123, 129.2.0. Uh, uh, let's get into this big deal here. Nice little case, instead of having a big hard case, so for a DIY type deal, now I have not uh, fired this up, so I'm probably going to have to do some things to it. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna have to, I don't know how you have to register, but this has lifetime updates which is also a very attractive thing for most of you. Enhance. Enhance. Nice little five inch screen. She's all charged up and ready to rock and roll. Excuse me, sorry for the light there. Uh, just a nice little capable scan tool to give you some codes and a little bit of live data. If you're above reading code, if you're above just reading the code, a little bit of help to troubleshoot. The price point, everything about it is very attractive for um, most of the people. This is convenient. This is fast, quick detection, real-time report output, timely model iteration, good Android system experience. It does have touchscreen and it has the buttons, so that makes it real easy. I'm going through the setup with it on you guys. Now select the time zone. American Chicago. All right, guys. So this is a four-system specific scan tool. Okay, this has 
over a thousand cars, 30 different vehicle models. Uh, this does DPF regen reset. Uh, you're able to code with this. It has auto off, but another good thing, this has a five-year warranty. These are big things with this that I want to alliterate. 12 system resets this does, TPMS, ABS, steering, uh, the normal ones, and also has auto off. But uh, the main thing is I just want to point out, and it also does live data and graphing. So this is a hell of a scan tool. I did check the price on this. It is two something, but I'm giving you a 10% discount with this on this video if you're wanting to. Uh, there'll be a link in the description with a code, and you can do a 10% discount on that. Absolutely phenomenal deal. But let's take a look real quick at just some basic functions of this. You know, it doesn't do me any good. I'd have to scan hundreds of cars and put them in this video to really show everything that you need to on this. So uh, I hope you understand that. That, you know, to really show a scan tool's capability... You really got to go through hundreds of uh, deal, hundreds of cars, and, and it's just not like it would take a year. And I like I've had plenty of time with those other ones, and I know for a fact they're really good at doing things that I need to do with resets and stuff like that. Auto off, you know, getting into there, especially Chrysler's 2017 and newer. But uh, you got your button programming history. This also does some programming. We got, let's read the data stream. I love the fact that this is touchscreen and button uh, capability. So we can look at, uh, let's just pull up a basic RPM. Well, we can do a lot of things here. We can look at RPM. But we have a basic graph, but you can, for testing purposes, if you're wanting to see any drops or whatnot, where you're, you're doing any type of uh, data logging, this, uh, this makes sense for that, I guess. But personally, when I'm looking for information at a glance, I like looking for, you know, numbers because I know what known good numbers are on a lot of stuff. You know, I know what, what good numbers are for. But like a lot of people have always asked me in the past, yes, this does DPF re regen on it, which uh, I don't have a diesel to do that. But I do have a 2011 Ford I will be taking a look at. So maybe we can look at that. But that also has a DPF delete, so that won't work neither. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, deal for how quick the scan tool is. Most of the time, a lot of people kind of get hung up on that, on a scan tool nowadays. Like, how fast is it? How fast is it? How fast is it? Well, for a $200 scan tool, I think this one is pretty quick. And it moves right through everything. And here's all your deals. Plus, we have a mall where you can purchase. And Sunny is just going crazy. Here's a mall where you can purchase additional uh, systems for, your, for diff different cars. But... I imagine most people that are going to be buying this is going to be specific for it. And you can see right here, it's got a battery voltage. Uh, you got your reset functions. Let's just go in there and touch base on that. There's your AF reset, brake reset, oil reset, SAS reset, battery reset, bleeding, electronic throttle relearn, TPMS. There's your DPF regen button. Uh, uh, blue reset, uh, uh, def blue reset, AFS reset, injector reset. So... That's uh, nice. And then we've got even data functions in here where we can look up diagnostic records where we've saved firmware fixes, uh, DLC where it tells you DLC locations on most vehicles. And let's see here. We can save images. This does not have a camera, but it can. you can screenshot on here. Screenshot screen capture and keep it in there plus we have a dtc library oh po what am i doing you guys should have been paying you should have been told me uh let's go po 300 i was doing po 3000 makes sense there we go random multiple misfires gives you some definitions of each code where you can go into a code library check that out and look into it and see hey what's this mean and your, your diagnostic records. So if you have a mechanic, this is the thing about this, and you want to uh, save, if you're having a problem, this is a key function to have so you can have a mechanic help you with do, using the scan tool. It is absolutely imperative. If you save that information, boom, you can get a lot more help. Not only that, you can email it to them and send it off, and now you've really helped yourself a ton right there. Especially if you got a friend that's willing to help you. 
Got battery voltage in real time, which kind of keeps up through the DLC. Not exactly accurate. I try to explain that to people all the time. This is an incredible little scan tool. <clears> that will do a great job for you. And, you know, like I said, it's touchscreen. It's button friendly. So if you just like to use the buttons, I definitely like these features on this scan tool and a very good scan tool. This is a scan tool I would recommend for somebody who has a little bit of knowledge of car repair yet needs some needs something that's going to be a little bit more than just a code reader launch create change and i'm doing this one-handed so you'll have to bear with my camera skills because they're going to be subpar at best but we'll do the best we can to give you some real live data and usage on real vehicles once again i'm using this on an older vehicle my personal truck 2002 chevy silverado just to display for speed accuracy on older vehicles because newer stuff is going to be a little bit quicker sometimes but it all depends on how much how many modules they have to read too so we're doing an automatic vin which is going to roll through here give us an automatic vin id i'm not going to show you my vin so i'll probably blur that out or something and you notice up here we're getting voltage. Notice up here we're getting voltage off of our deal plus uh, date and time. And then we're going to get right into this. All right. So let's add it. Let's start doing the diagnostic procedure. Try to bear with me here as I do this. I know this is going to be tough, but I'm looking through the camera. So this is th cable actuated. really doesn't matter I've never found any issues with getting it doing it either way I've never found any difference in information it's kind of like one of those deals where Riley's if they ask you if your El Camino is four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive all right so we got to find we got one fault code no doing all check here this is doing a full scan health report so it's you don't always have to do this but it will do the full health report and I like the length of the cable too so this is going to be your report where you can share right here on your system which is very cool uh, we have all this plus we have one abnormal which is Knox circuit which has been a long time coming but I still don't get bad fuel mileage with this so so I can sit there and send it directly to my email immediately which is great if you are trying to do this as a technician too. All right, so if we want to look at this further, we hit enter here and we can go into read data stream, engine data display. No bad because they freeze in the, in the northern parts. But there we go. We have our heated oxygen sensor, evaporative purge solenoid that we can command even if we want to. Cool capability on here, but definitely has plenty of PID datas for domestic vehicles as well as Asians. I'm almost betting that it's probably lean, a little bit, uh, let's see if we got any misfire data. Very productive, 49 PIDs we have on here to look at. That's just on your engine data. Now let's see what we got on engine data two, four wheel drive, air conditioning, cam positioning, and this has probably got a cam cor cam crank correlation um, uh, relearn. Double switch, oil life remaining. Uh, mine is ready to be changed. I, let's actually look at that real quick. I'm just about to do an oil change on mine. So let's see what that does too. A reset on your oil life change. Trying to give some basic, basic information. Look at that. 0.500% life remaining. And we can go ahead and reset that. So she's definitely at the end of her life. Let's do a clear code. All right, so this should be a pretty simple process. Clear codes. Yes, and you've seen the light blink off there, so we're good to go. Awesome scan tool. We can shut her down. Uh, you know, if anything else you guys want to see on one of these, I really don't know where all to help you guys uh, for any questions you have. You just ask them, and I can, you know, Answer them via the video is probably the best thing to do, in all retrospect, in my opinion. 
uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. And what, Sonny? Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching. <laughs>